Okay, so these bracelets came out of a mystery jewelry box that I picked up from Donatella Bottolino. I purchased a um, dibble box off of her at her YouTube, on her YouTube channel, and I paid 110 for the dibble box, and I have another video on that. And then I said, just round it up to 150 and throw in some jewelry. I am gonna test these right now to see if any of them are Bakelite. Here is everything else that came in my jewelry box, um, mystery box, my jewelry mystery box. There's some really great stuff. So be sure to check out my other video where I go through all of this. But right now this video is gonna be testing for Bakelite and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to use this polish, this semi-chrome, I think that's how you say it. And I have a video on how to do this, but I'm just going to take a little bit here. Can you guys, I don't even have it in the camera. Sorry, I'm just going to put a little bit on this Q-tip. I'm going to start with the orange. I'm just going to rub. You know, I probably should have cleaned it first. <laughs> okay, well, let me do the other side because it could just be dirty. You know what? I can't remember what it's supposed to do. Let me go watch my video and come back because I was thinking that if it turned brown like that, that it was. I see it. Okay, let me let me watch my video and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, from my video, if it turns that brown color or yellow, it's Bakelite. So I'm, I just wiped it down with a uh, damp, wet, more than damp cloth or uh, rag, and I'm gonna test it again. I just want to make sure it's not like. You guys, that's definitely turning yellowish brown. Is this a big chunk of Bakelite? Oh, oh my gosh. And look, I've got two. I mean, I'm like questioning it now because I mean, that would be amazing. Okay, I didn't wipe this one down yet. Let me wipe this down. Because before, um, just show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna make sure there's no dirt on it. And then... Where'd my, and you can see it's pink. And I'm gonna take that right here. And there it is, guys. And I know you can like rub them and smell them, but I don't really ever do very well with the rub test. Um, hmm. Well, I'm kind of excited about that. Those, I'm pretty, feeling pretty confident that these could be Bakelite. I am gonna, um, question, send that question over to Moonstone Mamas, but let me turn my um, ring light off. Semi-chrome is the best way to tell if an item is Bakelite or not. I see that yellow on the Q-tip girl. I would list those between 15 to 18 a piece. Good luck. Okay, well, let's test another one. Look at that. You guys, is it Bakelite? Oh, that could be great. Okay, let's see. Now I want to test another one. All right, so these are kind of a cream color. I wasn't even... Okay, the bad thing about recording during the day is that your phone rings and it's telemarketers. Okay, so I'm wiping this down. And I don't think I'm going to get as lucky on this one. <sighs> Maybe I am. I don't know. Okay, it's doing the same thing. There is no way that both of these are Bakelite. Is it, is it possible? You guys, seriously? Like, could I be getting that lucky? Okay, so these came out of a mystery jewelry box that I picked up from Donatella Bottolino. It wasn't an auction, I'm sorry. I bought a dibble box and then I asked her to throw in $40 worth of jewelry. 
and I have the whole video. I think I'm gonna do this maybe as a separate video. Also, in addition to putting it in that video, just so you guys, cause I'm testing for Bakelite and people might be interested in that. Um, and it's not often that you just find Bakelite. So look, you guys, it's yellow. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I bought $40 worth of jewelry and you guys can go check out that video, but you can see it's all over there. I'm just adding this to the video. Um, and I thought I would test these bracelets thinking that they probably weren't. And I'm thinking now they are. Okay, so this is a clean spot on this one on the back is from another bracelet. But uh, let me uh, wipe this bracelet down. I don't think this one is, but I didn't think the other ones were either. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is the from the other bracelet. Okay, so see, nothing is, it, it's nothing's happening. So this one is not Bakelite. Okay, good. I'm glad I had one that wasn't. Well, I'm kind of glad. <laughs> Okay, let's look at this big chunk of whatever this is. I don't think this is either. This is the one that is marked Atlantis on the inside. Here's, um, let me wipe it down just to make sure it's clean. Um, put some semi-chrome on it. I cannot believe those are Bakelite. I'm like in shock. Yeah, see, it's staying pink. So this one is just some sort of plastic, if I had to guess. I got four Bakelite bracelets. Get out of town. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm not excited for nothing. Okay, so this one has this seam. So I don't think this is Bakelite. I'm just going to use this one because it still has pink on it. And I'm going to rub it right there. And you can see this one I didn't wipe off first, so I'm getting some dirt let me wipe it down real quick and I'll put some fresh semi-chrome on it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this one, I, I don't, I think it's just plastic. Yep, see nothing. Okay, but let's look at this one again. I've still got some stuff on there. Yellow! Boop, boop. Super excited. So... Donatella does not check her stuff. I'm guessing she had no idea those were Bakelite. I had no idea. I really had no clue, but it looks to me like these four bracelets are Bakelite. <laughs> so exciting. So these are the ones I tested. The four on, these four are, these three are not. And how exciting is that? I don't know how I'm going to list them. I have to look them up. But, I mean, those are nice size bracelets. So, really excited. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.